All right, everybody, we are back. And as I said, we're going to be doing five trailers today. Um, as part three of this, getting the trailers with Mike and Lore Master Brian done. Um, so these first, so we have two Netflix, I, th I think I said two, two Netflix trailers. This first trailer, I don't know. This looks like, it's it's got Japanese words, so I think it has to, it's some Japanese thing and it looks like something Japanese, <laughs> like weird, you know, that old saying or that weird meme where it's like 70s, like Japan, Japan producing 76% or, or no, it was 90% of weird stuff on the internet since 1976, this was it. Um, this kind of fits in with that, so let's check it out. Are you excited about this one, Dad? <laughs> I I don't know. From what we saw on it, I have I, there's not much to make from it. We'll it just looks goofy, and the name of it sounds weird. But let's check it out. We're watching the trailer for Mike's After Action Reviews is proud to partner with Purple Works Nutrition. They sell pre-workout manufactured right here in the U.S. It has no artificial flavors or preservatives and has a simple, effective, and easy to understand list of ingredients, unlike some other pre-workouts and supplements. Each scoop contains 200 milligrams of high quality caffeine, three grams of creatine, and 1.5 grams of high-end carnosine beta alanine to grant the energy and produce the strength needed to crush your workouts, and vitamin D and C to aid in and support immune health, muscle health, and tissue repair. You can find this pre-workout at purpleworksnutrition.com. You will find a link in the description down below. Purple Works Nutrition also sells Muratino brand coffee on their website. So if you are interested in award-winning coffee blends imported from Italy, you can find that there as well. Mask Girl. Teaser trailer, Netflix. Coming at us from Netflix, we're going to like the video. Three names, three lives three murders i am mask girl okay so it's coming out august 18th it's a series a netflix series um an officer work an office worker who is insecure about her looks becomes a masked internet personality by night until a chain of ill-fated events overtakes her life so what is going on here interesting okay um let's uh let's check it out then i guess we got a one minute and 12 second trailer are you ready Yep. Hey guys, some of you may know that I was in the army for 10 years. Uh, I have since left. That makes me a veteran. Um, but uh, I have a veteran buddy. Some of you know him as Salty Skipper. Some of you know him as his real name, uh, Stephen Russell. Him and I have both um, are trying to start our own business, me with my YouTube channel, and him with a comic book. So check out what he has to say about that right now. Hey guys, my name's Steven Russell. I'm the uh, story creator and artist for the series called Tales of Nihilism. It's about a normal person living in a world of superheroes and how they would have to navigate and react to that world. The series is digitally up on Global Comics and you can purchase PDFs. Uh, we will also be uh, premiering the first physical copy at Plastic City Comic Con August 19th in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, near Boston. So if you want to come out and support the series or you want to purchase some ad space in the physical comic book, feel free to reach out at uh, Tales of Nihilism. Thank you. Here we go. Is that her? This, the mask. I'm sorry, do you know? Oh, whoa, my God. Looks like she's murdering people. But look at that mask. It, doesn't that look creepy? Like, you know when you see in horror movies where there'll be a person, you can see their eyes, but they have a mask over their the rest of their face? It just looks, this looks creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. What the heck is going? Is the mystery going to be about who she is? Oh, 
어? 난 마스크 걸이다. 여러분. 사랑해요. 여러분. 제 얼굴이 궁금해요? Okay. That's what I was going to say. It looks like you're not going to know who it is. Maybe you find out through the... through, Or maybe it tells you right away, but we just didn't see it in the trailer. But the trailer almost makes it look like you don't know. Is it her? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it is it some of these other girls whose face you see, or is it just a completely random person? Because she's wearing a wig and a mask. She doesn't well, look... Yeah. The other one, though, they showed whatever that... Uh, somebody laying there with a straight white mask just laying on the floor whatever yeah I'm gonna tell you I don't think it that it, I don't think it's this lady because she's old and I'm just looking at like her skin on her neck no, they, I don't think it's that person yeah. definitely not so what do you think uh, I, I don't know <laughs> looks like it, maybe it's good maybe it can be interesting but I, just from this trailer it just looks like there's a lot of stuff different stuff going on or whatever else like that I guess they're trying to appeal maybe to Hey, even though people are on the, they do YouTube streams, some people don't show their face ever, and then well, yeah. maybe that's just you know, it's a way to get on social media or something. Yeah, feel part of the. World. Maybe I should get a I mask like this. This what I'll you know what I'll do is if I watch it and do a review, I'll wear a mask like this during the whole review. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. No, uh, I think it's just, I think it's so the, the trailer actually does a good job of being a meme. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like this funny, we, it's basically making fun of social media people as well. Like, you can see that she's very vapid and probably egotistical and just the music they play kind of makes it a little bit of a, you know, like even I'm on the internet. I'm on the internet.com, as actual Justice Warrior would say. Uh, but I'm I'm on the internet, and I and but I actually don't get myself involved a whole lot. Like I'm not a guy who watched a lot of YouTube before becoming a YouTuber. I do it now because I because of doing YouTube. But um, some of these people, their whole life is just rant, like likes and comments and stuff. And I'm not like that, but but yeah. People who are like that are weird, and it's kind of showing us that. So, yeah, and it looks like it could be some people. Or some people are over infatuated with maybe whatever she puts out, and that's maybe that's what it's all about. You know, kind of crazy followers or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering, is she the one committing the murders, or is well, no, but it did show her with a knife to somebody. So, possibly, yeah, she... had a yellow dress on, to get blood on her. But what, is it? That could, that could have been, been somebody else. Something on the YouTube channel. And then somebody was like, oh, maybe it's a, a crazy fan goes goes wacky and then killed somebody just to mimic whatever was shown on the screen or something. I don't know. Yeah, like I'm wondering, like this could be somebody, that's what I was going to say, is this could be somebody actually dressed like her too, though. It could because, be, yeah. Because it's like a fan. Because um, yeah. I'm so looking... I don't know. Like that's what I'm now. I'm actually interested a little bit in this because I'm looking at her here, and if you look, you know, I'm not trying to be a weirdo, but if you look, like even her her breasts and and some of her physical features don't look like this woman. I don't know. Like, you know, you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Yeah. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, could be an interesting little mystery at least. But then also just that weirdness is going to be in there, too. So if you're into that, go check it out. Um, August 18th. Let's check out the comments, though. Uh, hopefully, I was going to say, hopefully they're not in the, the Japanese. The original web comics are super good. The plot twists are so unexpected and fascinating. I am definitely going to watch the adaptation. Okay, so this is an adaptation of a web comic. This is something worth looking forward to. Um... Let me see. Mask Girl looks fascinating. I'm giving it's giving me sci-fi vibes because of the chrome metallic. Okay, I, 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 it doesn't seem like it's going to be sci-fi related though. It looks more like murder mystery. Korea has so many good shows. Oh, it's Korean, not Japan, not Japanese. Okay, 
Uh, Sweet Home, DP, Glory, Squid Game, Attorney Wu, Celebrity. This looks good, too. Okay, that is true. Korea, uh, South Korea has some really good stuff, so this might actually be something. Especially Ellie. Ellie isn't a Korean stuff. I love South Korean cinema on Netflix, but this trailer, I don't know what to make of it. It doesn't grab me like the others released by Netflix. I suppose it needs to be watched for me to be convinced. Um, other than that one, though, I'm just skimming through these, and... Uh, I just paid this girl to dance and murder at the same time. Does that make me an accessory? <laughs> anyway, um, other than that one, though, it looks like everybody's pretty excited about it, and it looks like it could at least be interesting. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Different, it, different twist to it and everything else like that, yeah. Not just all about social media, just stuff going off on the side and everything else, too. So Yeah. I just want to put it out there right now. If you are a member of the Action Pack and a fan of Mike's After Action Reviews, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. But do not get obsessed. Go outside. Do something else with your life. I'm not worth killing people for. Okay? Do not become this obsessed with me. I'm not that interesting. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, but let's move forward here. Go to, Like I said, go check it out August 18th. So it's just a few days away. <laughs> but otherwise, there you go, guys. Oh, Lord. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.